made it to Friday. Uh, uploading today's vlog, importing footage from yesterday for tomorrow's vlog. Got myself a cup of coffee with new creamer, going with coconut cream again. It's the best choice over there. That's damn near perfect. Looking forward to getting getting through this day, jumping into the weekend. Because at this point, the countdown's on for Tiffany's return. I'm not gonna lie, <clears throat> I'm gonna miss these uh, free mornings, the uh, like that the care of the world warnings. Tiffany will be back next week, and I'm gonna be like tiptoeing around the house again, doing everything in the dark, using my phone for light. I think I'm gonna have to talk to him. Like, we're gonna have to come up with some kind of uh, system here. Maybe you just get up before in the morning with me, do your workouts. You know, no, I'm I'm definitely in full blown uh, Tiffany missing at this point. Full blown Tiffany missing, missing Tiffany. I don't know. I'm missing Tiffany. It's it's Friday. It's been a week now, and uh, yeah, now I, I can't wait to get for her to get home. The first couple days, I was like, yeah, have fun, see ya, bye. In the middle of the week, it's like, yeah, cool, you know, all right. And then now it's like, I miss her. I want her back. So um, yesterday was her luau day, like the final day of the conference, everything. And then today is just a free day. Um, Saturday is a free day. Though they, girls are smart. They'll pack everything up and go to bed early on Saturday because Sunday is, a, is nothing but a travel day. And they lose three hours. They gained three hours when they got there. So, you know, while it was like, 10 p.m. over there, you know, it's 1 a.m. here. Uh, that's like when they went to bed the first night. They're going to come home and it's going to be all wacky because they're going to lose three hours. Tiffany will want to go to bed even though she, she, like in her brain, she's been, you know, she's got three more hours still. So that'll be interesting. I think Tiffany's better at that than I am though. Just because she likes to go, to, she likes sleep. And so it's one of those things where like if she has an, a, an excuse to go to sleep, she'll go to sleep. Whereas I'm, I'm always fighting it. Splitting up the shopping's been nice. Uh, now that we've got the extra the extra hands on the dock, my brother Austin does usually Costco. I usually I, I do Restaurant Depot, so like I'm done in 30 minutes, you know. And, and I had a, I had a full cart, so it definitely makes the morning a lot more, a little more enjoyable. I'll put it that way, a little more enjoyable. So we'll get back to that warehouse. We'll unload what I got, and then we'll get back in the office and uh, try to get my dad situated and squared away so that he can leave at a decent time on a Friday. So tomorrow is our big airport day. Two biggest orders of the week are on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I'm not here on Saturday, so... Um, and Saturday's relatively the slowest day. Of, it is the slowest day of the week, so Austin and I try to get almost all the shopping done, or the bulk of the shopping done on Friday. So I'm here, Restaurant Depot, round two, two giant carts. Fast forward many hours later, I have been home for about four hours. I streamed some Once Human on Twitch for three of those hours. And Bryce and I were trying to figure out dinner plans for the evening because uh, Sierra's out with Jacob and his brother. So they're they're gone for the night. Um, and so was, I, I threw out pizza, he threw out Chipotle. I've been craving Chipotle. And so we would decide on Chipotle. And then during my stream, Buffalo Bill, uh, tipped 5,000 bits, which is $50. He gave me $50. So this is dinner and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a drink on me, is basically what he said. So big shout out to Buffalo Bill for buying Chipotle tonight. Appreciate it, Bill. Uh, here's what we got. Burrito bowl. I got with the, the uh, chicken al pastor, white rice, black beans, mild tomato, medium corn, hot red, sour cream, and lettuce. We got ourselves a big queso, a big guac, and a big bag of chips. And Bryce is trying something new. He got a burrito and he threw in some cheese in a skillet and you're gonna crisp up. It's gonna like crisp the bottom of it. Okay. I, know, I saw it on TikTok. I don't need to do it because my burrito's not like about to explode, but the guy on TikTok, he like 
jam packed his burrito. So he like did the cheese bottom and it like sealed it kind of so it wasn't gonna like blow up. There you go. How was the burrito? Bomb, dude. Would, would you do it with the cheese again? Probably. I'd let it crisp a little more, maybe do a little more too. But I feel like the, the play would be to put it on a on a, like a flat skillet and put it out all the way. Let it sit there for a couple minutes, and then put the burrito in it and roll it. So it goes all the way around. Mm. I've seen that. I've seen that. But you gotta let it cook longer so that it crisps. Yeah. Yeah. And then the top is still sticky, so that's why you put the burrito in it, like sticks to it. My dude, move. the queso is so good. But seriously, they, both of these are just phenomenal. It's a salty chip. Oh, love it. Love it. Chipotle is still one of my favorite places to eat, hands down. I never get sick of it. Once upon a time, when I worked on a set of a movie, I ate Chipotle every day for two weeks. No joke. And some days, twice. I'd eat it on the way into set, and I'd eat it on my way out of set. Because there was a Chipotle just around the corner from where the house we were like, all the gear was at. So we go on site, on set where we're filming, and then we'd come back to this guy's house, and that's where we put all the gear in the garage. And then every morning, we'd wake up the next day, and yeah, but seriously, I ate it two weeks in a, like every day for two weeks, and never got sick of it. And I feel like I could do the same thing today. Yes, yes. Cleaned up after dinner. Pop the top on the spa. Quick change, and uh, gonna, gonna relax. Go live on YouTube. Hopefully you caught the stream. If not, there's a VOD. And uh, I'll see you on the flip side. Well, there we go. Just wrapped up a uh, nice little live stream. It was live for 100 minutes. So, you know, over an hour and a half. A little over an hour and a half. Um, it was good, it was fun. It's chill. Nice little story time. Did a couple stories there. Had fun with the trolls. Use that block button, baby. Use that block button. I'm gonna go in the house, shower. It's 10 o'clock. Definitely should wind down. I've been up since 4 a.m. But knowing that I don't have to work tomorrow kind of lets me give the freedom to kind of stay up a little bit longer. So we might bust out that chips and guac, finish that off. All right, so I got out of the shower and I got my second wind. I'm gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna just go to Apple and see what new releases are out, pick like an action or sci-fi movie, just rent it and just YOLO. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I got a little, I got a little hungry, got a little hungry. And I was like, okay, I'm like, what are we gonna eat? I got, okay, we got chips and guacamole, chips and salsa. That's always a classic. I love chips and salsa. And I was like, wait, Tiffany's got a frozen margarita pizza in the freezer. I turned the oven on. And then I was like, no, I, look, I see the chips. And I'm like, no, I should probably just eat the chips and guac before it goes bad. See the pizza for tomorrow. Share with Bryce or Sierra. And then as I put the, as I put the pizza back in the freezer, I remembered that I just bought ramen at Costco. So ding, ding, winner, winner. Ramen is one of my favorite foods, and this is my comfort food. Like some people have mac and cheese, some people have like mashed potatoes, you know, some people it's, it's potato chips, Doritos, pretzels. Ramen is mine. And this is the best instant ramen you can buy in the store. Ended up watching Aquaman 2 for the first time. It was good. I can see where everyone was kind of like, it was okay. It was, you know, it was a, it was a good action movie, but first one was better. I think the first one was better. But, you know, it was one of those, like, with all the bad reviews, I hesitated to watch it. Kind of like The Flash. I haven't watched The Flash movie for the same reason. I was excited about it when it was announced and the previews were coming. And when the reviews came out, everyone was tr trash talking it. And I was just like, oh. So I've been kind of, I just, it's like, hesitated to watch it. But I did Aquaman, so I'll do Flash next. Anyway, it is past midnight. I... It just hit me like a timer. As soon as the movie was over, it's like, oh, like it just hit me. So I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Later.